Welcome dear students, now we will plot and sketch the graph of y equal to cot x or cotangent function. But before sketching its graph, first we will discuss its table of values. This is the coordinate plane, first, first second, third and fourth coordinates. This is x axis and 0 minus 0. This is fourth quadrant, while 0 plus 0 it is first quadrant, and in fourth quadrant, in first quadrant tan or cot is positive while in fourth quadrant tan x or cot x is negative. Please keep in mind. Now tan cot x it is 1 over tan x and tan 0 when x is 0 tan 0 it is 0 cot when x is 0 so cot 0 it is 1 over tan 0 tan 0 1 over 0 1 over 0 it is infinite but 0 minus 0 this is 4 it will be minus infinite and 0 plus 0 first quadrant it will be plus infinite. Please uh, try to clear these two values 0 minus 0 minus infinite 0 plus 0 this is plus infinite. And when x is 30 degree cot 30 1 over 10 30 1 over 10 30 this is 1 over square root 3 it is 1.73 1.73 similarly please complete these values i have completed the remaining values and please keep in mind this table this is x axis first we draw the graph from 0 to 360 or 0 to 2 pi for its complete period x is 0 minus 0 or 0 plus 0 it is infinite and infinite cannot be drawn 0 minus 0 mean plus infinite towards upward when x is 0 minus 0 minus infinite sorry yeah this is 0 minus 0 towards downward then 0 plus 0 upward it will be shown later on but when x is 30 degree cot x is 1.73 this is 45 90 130 i have taken the scale according to 45 angle but if we subdivide it is 15 and this is 30 and above 30 it is 0.1.73 because if we let it is 2 it is 1 this is 0.58 and it is 0.7 1.73 if x is 45 then it is 1 we will plot this when x is 60 it is 60 and this is 0.58 and at x is 90 it is 0 when x is now we will take the difference this is a difference for your understanding but uh, further we will proceed at the difference of 45 after 90, 135, it is minus 1, 35, minus 1, and 180, minus 0, it will be plus infinite. And we will plot this graph with free hand in such a way, and it goes to infinite. And this is 0 plus 0, it is plus infinite. 0 plus 0 first coordinate 
it goes to plus infinity. While 0 minus 0, it will go to minus infinity towards this side. When x is 180, it is minus 180 minus 0 minus infinity, 180 plus 0, it will be plus infinite. We will take 225, it is third, it is plus 1. At 270, it is 0. And at 315, this is minus 1. Again, with a free hand, we will join these values in the same way and will find the symmetry of the graph or curve. And at 360, it is minus 360 minus 0 minus infinite. And after 360, it will go to plus infinite. This is the complete graph from 0 to 360 or 0 to 2 pi. Now we plot the graph from 0 to minus 360 or minus 2 pi. This is 0. 0 to minus 2 pi. This is the table of cotangent function or y equal to cot x. And when x is minus 45, this is minus 1. x is minus 90, it is 0. Because on x axis y is 0. And when x is minus 35, it is plus 1. Again, at 180, minus 180, plus 0, and minus 180, plus 0 mean third quadrant, it will go to plus infinite, 180 minus 0, minus infinite towards downward. But infinite cannot be drawn. Minus 225, this is minus 1. Uh, sorry, minus, this is minus 1. This is not point. No point. At minus 270, it is 0. And minus 360, it is minus 315, it is plus 1. At minus 360, it is plus infinite. Again, we will join these values with free hand in this way. Zero to minus one eighty and this is also free hand mean there is no line, no corner point. Any trigonometric function has no corner point or no line. Graph is graph. It's always a curve. This is graph from zero to minus three sixty of contingent function, and this is the complete graph from minus three sixty to plus three sixty. Here mean minus two pi to plus two pi. This is from minus three sixty to plus three sixty. And if anyone asks you to draw the graph. For complete period, it will be only from 0 to 2 pi. Only this portion, it is the complete graph, but from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi, this is from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi. Now we find its asymptotes. For asymptotes, we will draw the vertical lines at 180 and 360 degree. These lines this is the asymptote this is also asymptote similarly at minus 180 and at minus 360 you can draw the vertical lines to find the asymptotes and we know asymptote is a line when graph curve is extended to infinite the distance between line and the curve goes to approaches to zero this then such a line is said to be the asymptote this these vertically this is asymptote asymptote and similarly you can draw at minus 180 and at minus 360 asymptote also its period this is repeated between 0 to 180 and further 180 to 360 it means uh, repeatedly this is periodic graph and 0 to 180 pi is the period and we know period of 10 or cot is 180 or pi Please subscribe. Thanks.